Uh, welcome to the Healthcare Update. Only uh, one thing to talk about today, and that's the IVF players. Uh, we saw yesterday Virtus had another sharp fall on the market that came through after lunch. It was down about 5%. Um, quite surprised by that. Um, you might remember last week that Virtus uh, share price had fallen around 7%. We thought we'd seen the worst of that, but uh, for some reason, and we're still trying to sort of get to the bottom of it, uh, the share price all, uh, fell uh, significantly yesterday. So as I said, it was down about 5% and that came through just after lunch. A uh, couple of things we're aware of. Firstly, there's a major fertility conference over in Europe at the moment. And we've also noted that one of the unlisted players in Australia, a company called Genera, has uh, doing some interesting things and linked up with Merck uh, to distribute some of their technology. So uh, I'm not quite sure why that's having such a, a big impact on the listed players, but uh, we're, we're trying to do a little bit more digging on that front. When we look at the Ford P consensus numbers, uh, we've got uh, Virtus trading on a P of about 12 and a half times and Monash trading on a P of just under 12 times. So uh, in terms of fundamentals, they look attractive, but we're just conscious that um, the, you know, the share price in both companies is trading at pretty much 12-month uh, lows. And we're trying to do a little bit more digging just to see uh, what the reason for uh, those falls are. So we're going to get some uh, research out in the next couple of days on both those companies. So please uh, contact your Morgan's advisors for more details. Uh, we'll be emailing information as it comes to hand uh, to the network. But that's all for today. Bye for now.